Meet the Cisco Time Series model, delivering out-of-the-box forecasting and anomaly detection support for observability with unrivaled accuracy. Since this is an AI foundation model, it delivers zero-shot forecasting. This means no more pre-fitting and tuning of ML models for every time series where you may use forecasting. This means no need to continually maintain and retrain models for accurate forecasts and reliable anomaly detection. Supporting our commitment to open source AI, the Cisco Time Series model will be released as an open weight model on Hugging Face and GitHub, as well as being built into Splunk and Cisco products. Let's look at how a large retailer may use this. For them, any downtime during checkout is a disaster. They need to predict problems before they occur so they can act before their customer is affected without losing revenue and upsetting customers. The most important KPI for the DevOps team is checkout completion time. Here, you can see their service health dashboard showing that they are well below their critical threshold of 90 seconds. However, they cannot rely on watching the past. They need to be able to predict the future and be alerted if the service is trending toward an SLO violation. Now, the status quo in this space is typically more people, more tools, more complexity. Pull in a data scientist or a machine learning engineer to stand up more models, then pre-train, tune, and iterate on each signal. It takes a lot of time and effort to get statistical models to be accurate and reliable, and then ongoing costs to maintain them. This is hard to implement and scale. Low accuracy also means a lot of false alerts and noise. These alerts often get ignored or disabled, and that results in outages and lost revenue. Now, Cisco recently released the Cisco Time Series model as an open weight model on Hugging Face and GitHub. This is a generative AI foundation model for forecasting time series data. Our model is built for the unique needs of full stack application and network observability. You can download it now to integrate it into your workflows, and it will be built into every Splunk product to provide easy forecasting and anomaly detection on any metric you chart or alert on. Here's how it works. Select the metrics you care about and apply the model. It is that simple. In our retailer's case, their main KPI is average checkout completion time. For them, they simply pass the time series with sufficient history to the model, and it instantly returns a forecast that accurately reflects the seasonality and trends in the signal history. On their dashboards, they are predicting where the KPI will trend over the next 10 hours. This lets them know that they may need to expand their capacity later in the day if the trends continue. This retailer is committed to 100% uptime. At the end of the month, they want an MTTR of zero. To support this, they enable predictive alerting on all their KPIs. Here, we see a predictive alert configured to notify them if average checkout completion time will confidently violate its SLO threshold in the near future. In this example, the system identified with high confidence that there will be an SLO violation in the next one and a half hours. That's enough time to mitigate the problem before an issue ever affects their customers. The Cisco Time Series model provides multiple innovations that make it the best choice for observability data. One of its key superpowers is multi-resolution signal analysis. Let me explain. Reliable forecasting on observability data often requires support for complex seasonality patterns, ranging from hourly to monthly. This means that the model may need to see up to three months of signal history. At the same time, it also needs to be responsive to recent changes and make a high-resolution forecast to prevent false alarms. All TSFMs only support processing a limited number of data points in the signal's history. With other TSFMs, you can choose to either use high-resolution one-minute data or low-resolution data, such as a one-hour aggregate. If you only use high-resolution one-minute data, you capture recent details, but you may miss the critical seasonality curves. If you only use low-resolution data, you identify the seasonality, but you miss recent details and lack the near-term precision required for reliable alerting. This is an unacceptable trade-off. The Cisco Time Series model gives you support for longer seasonality, gradual trends, recent changes, and the high-resolution forecasts you need for reliable predictive alerting and anomaly detection. You simply submit as much high-resolution signal history to the inference API as may be necessary to support seasonality. Then, the model reasons across a blend of high-resolution data and lower-resolution time aggregations to give you the best of both worlds, with forecasts and alerts that you can rely on. As a result, the team using this foundation model acted in enough time to prevent an incident instead of reacting after the incident has already happened. Their monthly NPTR is effectively near zero. Checkout time remained under the SLO, the revenue was booked, and brand trust remained intact. The Cisco Time Series model brings the power of AI-driven prediction to every situation across all your services so that you can prevent issues before they affect your users. You are no longer locked into React mode because it was too complicated to pre-configure, tune, and maintain accurate and reliable forecasting models. 
Cisco is the leader in full stack application, networking, and security observability and response. The new Cisco Time Series model joins our existing AI foundation models for security and is another big step in our journey to be the leader in AI for machine data. What we have shared here is just the beginning. Watch for upcoming product announcements and releases on Hugging Face. We hope you'll join us, and thanks for watching.